Sure thing. And so, you know, based off of the, the season, you know, what I like to talk about is, is IRS. So uh -huh. we have a long history with the IRS. Um, and one of the things that, that we look at, at their last modernization is we, we all know about our e-file, right? So IRS processes 150 million tax returns per year, but really it's about 250 million filings, right? Because you have business filings throughout the, the months and quarters throughout the year, extensions, et cetera. And that whole process, which I'm sure we're, we're all familiar with the way we used to do it, you know, all on paper, all sending on in. And then we through through many iterations towards that modernization effort. And we've been able to go through and connect all those systems, which include legacy systems, all the way up to mainframe, all the way out to all the service providers, your cloud providers, your, your uh, tax software that people use for electronic filing, and join all those systems together as part of that modernization effort. Mm -hmm. What's interesting, though, is that beyond just providing the main source of revenue that, that operates the federal government, they also tend to be the record of authority for a lot of validation and qualification. So now they've had to take all these systems that, you know, by process were batch oriented in filing, but now to become transactional. So if we look at the, the ACA and how, to, how the Healthcare Act and that tie-in where that system reaches a peak of around 180,000 concurrent users at once, all looking to validate what do they qualify for for benefits. And then it all comes back to the IRS a lot of times to, to validate what, what's my tiering. And so they've been able to then take that same platform and then extend the information on out to provide those services. And uh, the good news story off of it, you know, for me is, is as they deal with the next phase of modernization, is now they're looking to containerize and develop as microservices those capabilities, right? So that they have full flexibility where they deploy their services, whether they wanted to be, you know, continue to be on-prem or go to cloud at some point, whether it be on-premise cloud or, or commercial clouds and then be able to manage that scaling side because the IRS obviously has seasonality that has different uh, demands on their systems, right? So it's, it's a really interesting extension where they've done a lot of modernization, but then are also going forward with more. And then it, to me, that, that still is part of that. Focusing on enterprise platforms, um, I think all of us from the industry will encourage everyone to take, take a holistic enterprise platform approach as they look to do their modernizations. Yeah, 